32 inch TVs, it's the LG 32LQ. Check the description below for timestamps, points of interest and dimensions and so on. I'll measure the feet and everything as I go along. So, top of the box, pedestal feet, stand feet, figure eight mains lead, Instruction book and remote pack. That's a quick look at the TV from the front to the side, quite a thick one. Quick look at the back. Onto the included accessories. Standard remote and a cable type, treble A batteries for that remote, screws for those two feet to attach to the bottom of the TV, quick setup guide I'll get close up of, energy rating labels, product info guarantee, figure eight mains lead, UK plug, right angled input to the TV, quick close up of the remote, We've got power on and off at the top, input button, text, subtitles, settings shortcuts, channel numbers, guide button, volume up and down, channels up and down, mute button, search, TV button there, I think that's LG TV channels, whatever there is, shortcuts to Netflix, Disney, Prime and Rakuten, home button, cursor arrows up, down, left, right and enter, back button, exit button, list button there, record, stop, fast forward, rewind, play and pause, and the colored buttons for different apps and media playback. So no smart remote with this one, just the standard remote. Pop the back off there, he says. Travel A batteries into the back. Quick look at the quick setup guide. Obviously shows you studying it there. Warning, don't grab the screen and put pressure on it, you'll break it. Lift underneath the screen, don't grab it and lift. Included accessories running along, taking it out of the box, two of you to lift, maybe not necessarily 32. Two of you to lay it on a large flat table as well. Attaching the feet to the TV, standing it back up, clamping your cable securely there to keep it tidy. List of the inputs at the top, popping some batteries into your remote, turning it on, pairing the magic remote. Not for this one though, it doesn't come with a magic remote, so it's just the standard remote there. List of relevant dimensions, what they refer to, and the key. Information regarding the visa mount on the back of the TV. Two included plastic feet, sort of textured finish there, sort of black plastic. Symmetrical, not marked left and right, and they've got little rubber pads on the bottom so they won't slip around or mark your surfaces. Okay, so there's no orientation specifically because these feet are symmetrical. However, it does have those two little prongs there standing up that should locate into a part on here, like so. Then we've got that self-tapping screw to go in afterwards. Should be nice and solid, he says. A bit more, that's better. And then the same for this side. Looking at the connections on the back, digital optical audio out, wired internet or LAN input, HDMI 2 is enhanced audio return channel or ARC, preset or satellite in, terrestrial antenna in, and I'll just spin it to the side a touch. And you can see we've got the CI card slot reader, USB slot there, and HDMI 1, so two HDMIs in total. Onto the dimensions, most importantly, the width of these two feet. If these are a problem, you can get a universal pedestal stand that will fit on the back and give you a nice central stand. I'll put a link where I've done a video on that below, but anyway. So maybe 60 and a half centimeters or 23 and three quarter inches to there. Whatever it stood on to the bottom of the TV, about three centimeters or one and a quarter inches. To the top of the TV, 46 centimetres, just under 18 and a quarter inch. 
width of it, it is the 32 inch model. And that's 73 and a half centimeters or 29 inches. Total thickness at its thickest point is 83 millimeters thick. So it's quite a thick one, but I expect the sound should be better as a compromise with that. Okay, 200 by 200 visa mount pattern. From the bottom of the TV to the center of that first visa mount hole, I make it about 112 millimeters. So 112 millimeters from the bottom to the first visa mount hole. Total height of the TV as well, I didn't say, in case anyone cares, it's 433 millimeters. So just under 43 and a half centimeters or 17 inches. TV is now connected via HDMI to my Sky Q box, wide internet, terrestrial, aerial and mains. Select installation method. So if you've got the mobile with the LG FinQ app, you can select mobile device. I'm just gonna do it with the remote control step by step. English UK, next. What next? Select all, more. Agree. It asks you there the way you watch TV. Mine should actually be set top box and TV, so I don't know why it's not picked up my sky box. Okay, it should come up set top box and TV. So we're just going to go TV only, let it tune the channels. I'll sort the sky box out afterwards. Maybe it's crashed. Pop your postcode in for regional services. Okay, optimizing the sound depending how the TV is positioned. Mine is on the stand, obviously if it's wall mounted, select wall mounted. Okay, program tuning, I'm using antenna. If you've got cable, select cable and obviously satellite for satellite. Digital only. Now I'll come back in five minutes when that's finished tuning. Okay, so we've now finished tuning. What it comes up with is your region select. It says preferred region, but really it should be the area where your aerial is facing. Mine is Yorkshire. Just wait for it to sort through those duplicates. And done. So here, sign into your LG account. If you've got an LG TV, it is worth making an account. Um, <clears throat> mainly because simple apps like YouTube, it's not pre-installed on the TV. I think they've done it to make you get the app. So get the app, you can do some remote control features from the app, but most importantly, you can go to the app store and get other apps for your TV. So I'm gonna skip because this is in store. There you can select some to update, Alexa, iPlayer, Prime, Now TV and Rakuten. I'm just gonna say done. Prime Minister, Mr. Sunak speaking earlier today in Darlington. Let's go straight to Westminster, talk to our political editor, Chris Mason. Chris, can we start Okay, with so the... it's come on to BBC One, standard definition. Just gonna turn that down. Quickly go to the settings and make a couple of changes. All settings. General devices, then HDMI. So if you're using other devices like your PlayStation to come on automatically, sound bars or AV receivers and for the control, turn that on. And that's the CEC command function. 
the system. Okay, energy saving, I'm going to turn that off. Auto power off, I'm going to turn off in store. If you've got teenagers, you may leave that on. If they leave the TV inactive for so long, it will turn itself off. I'm just going to put the picture mode standard for the demo. Okay, see if I can get my Sky Q to work. So it does pick it up. Great. <clears throat> We're now on to BBC News HD through the Sky Q box. So it's no longer on free view this channel. I'm just going to turn it up so we can hear it. Possible. Senior doctors and nurses in a special unit treat and get them home on the same day so they don't need a hospital bed. There are a lot of clinical conditions that can be treated by um, using same day emergency care strategies. Um, and it's actually a preferable option to more, most patients rather than being admitted to hospital. Um, it also means that we can free up inpatient capacity for the patients who need it most, um, and that has an overall benefit to the whole of the healthcare system. So what about workforce? There are more than 133,000 vacancies in the NHS in England, with a vacancy rate of 9% higher than before the pandemic. The question is, will existing staff be able to deliver the plan for this winter? It was a hectic situation. There were so many patients, so many attendants over here, so many injuries over here. Okay. So I'm just going to send an LG demo to the TV. We'll see how that one goes. Okay, try a bit of football on there. Here come the two teams, Manchester United against Inter in the International Champions Cup. United face Inter Milan to Pogba. 
Shaw, sure, they're encouraging him to shoot and he will have a goal. Pogba does get it back. Rashford, Pogba, what's he going to do? I don't know how he got that far to be honest. Okay, here come United, Shaw. Sure. Bring it ball into the middle, nearly finds Rashford, just a little touch, took it behind him and it finished level on points of third place Atalanta in Serie A last season, Inter. Dresovic, swap deep, and uh, there's a miss by the Haya. And it goes towards Gary Rubini. Saka was back there, I think, to head that away. Pogba back towards his own goal, and Marcus Saka up the left. Pogba's up as well. He leaves it free and done. He lends it up the line. Brilliant still for Pogba. Where's he going? Wonderful. Why not? Good save from Andanovic. He's right. Shaw. Did well when the fighting was exiled from the team. Marcus Saka shot down well into the penalty area. Milan just throw this in now, I expect. By Young towards that corner, Handanovic forced into a save. Another marvellous ball up for the teenager who's making a name for himself. Manchester United lead the game with 15 minutes to go. What a wonderful finish! So much talk coming out of Old Trafford about the quality of this young man. Not just from his youth coaches. That's it. Manchester United get the win. And this man has done it again. Mason Greenwood with the winning goal. Okay, back to normal oh, but TV. But most of those there in green just copy what Britain had when it was in the EU. Then there's that tariff-free deal we agreed with the EU itself. And we've got new trade deals with Australia and New Zealand. But Woohoo. the impact is likely to be very small. Together, the government's own analysis suggests those may add about 0.1% to the UK's income. And that will take a decade. Some UK farmers actually fear they will lose out. Others, with India and the Gulf states, for example... Which... OK, so quickly looking at the home screen there. You can see we've got Now TV, Netflix, iPlayer... ITVX, All4, My5, Prime, Rakuten, Disney, Apple TV, Sky Store, BBC Sounds, app. So go there for more apps. You will have to make that LG account so you don't see YouTube on this page, annoyingly. You have to make your LG account, sign in, then you can access the App Store, download the app, Sports Alert, Home Dashboard, Web Browser, so you can probably get Bluetooth keyboard mouse, do some very basic web browsing on there. Media player, whether it's USB playback and whatever else. Alexa and Google, you can edit that list to make it your own. Up there, some stuff that's trending now. Going down from there, your home dashboard, connection guides, airplay. So if you're casting your, <clears throat> if you're mirroring your Apple iPhones or iPads, you can mirror them straight to the TV should be able to cast your um, Android devices as well. Live TV, that's the aerial HDMI one, which has Sky Q on. Optical out device plus TV is the setting. You can set that to ARC if you're using a sound bar or AV receiver. Do a remote PC to it. Going down from there, quick highlights on live TV, sports alerts, live's good hub now, streaming. Movies you can watch on LG Smart to motivate yourself. Don't know if that'll work on me. New releases, web browser recommended sites, and that's it. So all in all, I mean these are about two hundred and twenty pounds in the UK at the moment. So for your two hundred and twenty pounds, it's a pretty good TV because it's going to be a second TV for a bedroom or a kitchen. It is only a seven twenty p display, but for basic TV watching things like that, it should be more than good enough. Sounds actually not bad on it, and I guess that's down to the thickness. Like I say, eighty three mil thick, so. All in all, not many 32s on the market, but that's not a bad one for the price. And that is it for now.